Today we're gonna do a bag swap slash review. So I recently acquired this Lululemon City Adventure belt bag. This is the newest in their belt bag collection and it's a little bit larger than, I think it's a two liter, quite honestly. It might be a little bit larger than that, but it's definitely larger than the Everywhere belt bag, which can't really go everywhere because it's too small. Um, and the features of this bell bag, it does have an adjustable strap, which I have found when you pack this bag, it doesn't stay, it pulls on this and you see it, it makes it longer. So even though I had this adjusted to be very close to my frame yesterday, just from wearing the bag, it has now become bulkier. Not a huge deal breaker, but I think that's something that you should be aware of. It does not hold where you set it when it is filled. Problem number one. Other than that, it's a really nice bag. It has a front pocket here, which is small, but yesterday I had a mask in there. I've taken it out. It has a back pocket which is where I currently am holding my cell phone, which is a iPhone 14 Pro Max. And then it has the main compartment right here, which has all of my stuff, all of my stuff. And within that, there is a zipper pocket where I currently am housing a card case and two front mesh pockets where I have some wet wipes. Granted, I've only used this bag once, um, but I think retails for about $70, very reasonably priced. It appears to be extremely durable. I would not have a problem throwing this bag in the washing machine. I would not have a problem I, the reason I took it yesterday was because I was going into not a sketchy neighborhood, but one where I didn't really want to like flash a bunch of logos. I felt that it was an inappropriate neighborhood to be flashing a lot of logos. The reason I like belt bags is for those of you that don't know, I have to be a hundred percent hands-free when I'm helping my dad move from place to place because he has a rollator. So I have to manipulate, it's a very large, if you're not familiar with what a rollator is, it's like a walker on wheels, but he can sit on it as well. It does fold up and go into the back of my car, but it's not easy and I have to have two hands in order to use it, to carry it from the front of the car to the back of the car. And it's just not possible to have a shoulder bag or even a crossbody bag that's going to go in front of me when I'm trying to hold that extremely large rollator. So a belt bag, which can just be tossed. Yesterday, like I said, I had it much closer to my body. So you can even see it's starting, to, like it's just odd. I don't know, um, the ev my everywhere belt bag, uh, which also happened to be a lighter color, does this as well so I'm gonna make it shorter and I have the two stoppers right here thinking that that would help but it doesn't so this is probably a little bit more realistic as to where I would want it to wear crossbody just like this and this is probably where I had it yesterday but it just through taking it on and off and leaning forward or leaning back it did readjust itself to the position I showed you at the beginning of the video. Not a deal breaker, kind of a little bit of a pain. I'm sure I could pin it or do something else to stop it from doing that. The Everywhere belt bag that I had, had gave it to my daughter in a lighter color, does this all the time to her. My Everywhere belt bag two liter in green, darker color, doesn't do it. And my Clean Lines belt bag, darker color, black, also doesn't do it. I don't know if it's the material. I don't know, I'm not really sure, but this one does seem to do it as well. It's still a really good bag. Currently on the site, they only have this in two colors, maybe three. I, I think it's three. They have a gray, 
They have this one, which is supposed to be the beige, and then they have black. It's a really nice bag, but I am not using it today. Today, we are also going to be going with my dad. Um, he's got to go to the grocery store, which is about a two hour excursion for him. He will not allow me to have groceries delivered because he wants to get out. I understand, but it is very difficult. He has to ride in little, if you've seen my other videos, you, have, you see he rides in the electric cart. So we have a cart, a rollator, an electric cart. These are all things we have to deal with. So I'm going to move my things. We're going to a birthday party as well. We have to go to Target, we have to clean out my car, we have to get gas. We have to go to a birthday party, which is a half an hour away, and then I have to come back, get my dad, and go to the supermarket. So a huge day, huge, huge day. And the bag I'm grabbing for my huge day is my Louis Vuitton, what is this? It's the BB. Why can't I think of the name of it? Well, now I feel like I have to look it up. This is a discontinued bag. Is it Sarone? Sar wow. Sarone. It starts, I'm pretty sure it starts with an S. Why am I flaking on this? Because I have, you know, my dad, <laughs> the grocery store and everything else. Because I have a lot on my mind. That's why. Um, so this bag I've done a full review on, but I did the review on it like when I first purchased the bag. So now I've had it for probably two years. It is a discontinued bag and you can get it on Fashion File. I will put a picture for a very reasonable, reasonable price. I think when I purchased it, it was under 2000 for sure, and I think on the resale market, it might be about 2000 but I would still say it's worth it. So features of this belt bag that maybe make it, that you might not like. You have this little loop at the top where you can hold it handheld. Most people cannot fit their hand through it. I can, it's not how I would choose to wear it. <laughs> it's not exactly comfortable, but I can do it. I'm not sure whenever I would do it and it's definitely tight, but if you're super small, you could do it. Uh, also, the way the straps hook up to this, there's one D-ring at the top and two at the bottom, which means that this bag cannot be converted into a crossbody. Uh, the Montessori BB can, the Palm Springs Mini can, this one cannot. It also only comes in this particular pattern uh, and the leather is not treated. Mine is weathered uh, to the point where I feel it looks pretty nice. I like it, um, but if you don't like treated, untreated leather, that could be a deal breaker for you. Uh, on the inside, it has this magnetic closure. This part of the bag technically can come off. I don't know why they made it that way and they didn't make it permanently, but if you were to unbuckle it, it would actually come off. It's an interesting, interesting little thing. It has one pocket here, which is where I traditionally put my hand sanitizer. It has a drawstring closure, and then it has a pocket here in the front. The inside is a light pink microfiber kind of a lining. Mine is not really too stained for being two years old. I mean, I don't use it every day, but I have worn it. It's not really stained, it doesn't bother me. And there is a D-ring over here on the side so you can hook your mini pochette or whatever you fancy to hook on the side. Uh, I love this bag, it is not very heavy. It's kind of slouchy. I think it's perfect for the idea of going to a birthday party where my daughter might just kind of throw stuff at me and say, here, put this in your bag. So we're gonna put everything that we have in here, in here. So nothing in either of the pockets now because my phone is on the table. I don't, I'm weird, I'm so weird. I don't like things that match too much. Like the whole idea of color coordination 
just it, I don't I don't it reminds me of like elderly people and flowered moo moos but I do have my mini pochette in the same print as <laughs> I'm so odd I do have the mini pochette in the same print as this bag so it's gonna be okay I'm just gonna I'm not gonna switch out the mini pochette right now I just don't feel like it this again is the only SLG that stays consistent. I will switch up any other SLG except for a mini pochette. That one is forever. And as you can see, I'm just hooking it onto the D-ring right there. Just added security. No one is getting that mini pochette. Uh, I have a pair of sunglasses. These are from Amazon. I really like them. They're Sojo's. If you can see that. So just sunglasses. They're Polaroids. I think they were also $15. Lip balm, Summer Fridays. I have no idea which color this is, but I really like it. I'm going to take all my wet wipes that I had in those two little pockets, which is a whole whopping two, and put those in here as well, just on the bottom. Hand sanitizer for Bath and Body Works. I'm going to place right up here in that pocket so that I can easily find it. Bath and Body Works lotion as well can go in there. I have an extraordinary number of keys right now because the, oh, there's another wet wipe. Okay, check that out. Another, I like the individual ones because you use them and then you can put them back in, like if there's nowhere to throw it away, you can just put it back in the packaging and save it. So, I have an extraordinary number of keys at the moment because um, my mom's in a rehab facility, but she's moving to assisted living. My mother-in-law is in assisted living, but she still has a house that we maintain. Um, we obviously have a house. I have work keys. It's just for the moment. My dad, my dad is living separately. He has his keys. So for the moment, I have a lot of keys. Um, I sometimes also use this as a wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton six key ring holder. I have my keys all hanging there. You can put things in the back as well. But for the moment, it's just housing keys, just in case I would need to, well, one, I will leave this in my desk drawer at work. I'm not gonna put my credit card, that'd be silly. <laughs> no. My favorite perfume at the moment, it's a uh, hmm, burning cherry. What is it? K Ali burning cherry. That's just going to go in there. I have my NARS mini concealer. Not something I would carry every day. Could go in the mini pochette, but it's not. <laughs> I have Glossier. This is their newest lip product. It's supposed to be like a lip balm lip color. It's okay. It's good. It's fine. I have my car key and pool pass. That does go in the mini pochette. So normally, just because I don't want it running, like I just don't want it all around my bag. And I don't add it to my six ring key pouch because it doesn't really fit inside. And I feel like this is too heavy to be hanging out of the ignition, so it doesn't, I don't ever put it in there. I have my AirPods, which I think are actually dead. And last but not least, I have my Louis Vuitton card holder, which is going to go right here in the front pockets for easy access. And that's it. That is essentially all I had in that bag. I might end up taking the camera with me. Obviously my phone is going to go in this bag as well. It's easy to cinch up. You can wear it as a backpack, you can wear it just on your shoulder, which just depends on what I'm doing at the time. But I like it with light color, dark color. I think I'm wearing some white um, Pumas with this outfit. It's very comfortable. I believe I have this on the shortest length, but sometimes if I'm just running around, I will wear it just like this in front of me, almost as a shoulder bag so that I can get to my card holder. Actually, come to think of it, I don't even use my card holder. 
I use um, my phone to pay for everything, so even that is kind of interesting. But highly recommend this bag. I think I really recommend this bag, but I'll give a more detailed review on this one a little bit later. Just know that it's out there. I, I just happened to stumble upon this. So City Adventure, there's also an extra large, there's a new one called like the extra large belt bag. Haven't crossed that territory yet. Like how many Lululemon belt bags do you need? They're extremely casual, which can be good, but I don't know, I still, I still like my Louis Vuitton <laughs> bag. So I think I'm gonna hold off saving money and definitely not buying any more Lulu. Three, three is good. Three Lulu 11 belt bags, different styles, different colors, good. A green, a black, a beige, I'm fine. There's no need for another one. Especially, I should just do a belt bag collection. But if you can find this one aftermarket on sale, please do check it out, give it a look. I'm so sad that they discontinued this because I think it's such a great grab and go classy mom bag. Mini backpacks are pretty awesome. Very versatile, very usable. It's a great bag. And I don't, for two years old, I don't think it's showing like the base or anything is really showing signs of wear. If anything were to happen to this one, I would repurchase this bag. If anything were to happen to this one, eh. <laughs> it wouldn't really, I would not repurchase it. I'm, I'm happy I have it, but I wouldn't repurchase it. So, yes. Limited, yes. <laughs> 